there's a lot to think and take from you here, right? You you literally go to Rome from South Africa, which which is where the World Food Program is based. I think is correct me if I'm wrong. That's where the headquarters is, right? That's correct. Yes. How do you manage these cultural shifts that happen as a leader? No, thanks, Vishal. So you're right. The team is global. In fact, at our headquarters. I probably estimate that more than half of the staff are not Italian. It's very, very global, very mixed. Just in my team of a dozen, you know, we have a South African, we've got someone from Hong Kong, El Salvador, Philippines, you know, some Italians. It's it's a real mix, someone from Turkey. And so um, there's, I think there's strength in diversity. You know, there's a lot of strength in these various cultures, ways of working, ways of thinking. Um, and if everybody feels comfortable to share that, you can, I think, come up with, with better solutions and actually form a really strong bond. And it's also just anecdotally, it's really enriching. You know, we, we'll have a coffee, a team coffee together and somebody will share a story of, you know, their country or their experience. And it really opens your mind and, and understanding them better and understanding people better. And so I've really enjoyed this element, you know, um, and I think what also helps is people that work for, for World Food Program, they, they really engage with the work. We, we're very much aligned with the work that we're doing and the mission that we're trying to achieve. And that helps also, you know, with when you have the sense of alignment, there's less friction, there's less issues or barriers to overcome because we're all facing the same direction. 